frustrating when men try to like weaponize my body, my choice, as if like we're being petty about it. You don't know what these women medical history is. You don't even know her favorite color for real. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey sis, hey, welcome to the family guys. So I'm back, I'm better. Today's video is gonna be a girl chat, a quick girl chat actually. And I know we have a lot of things to get into and updates that's coming shortly after this video. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe so you can get all the details of what's been going on with me. It's a great introduction to getting to know who I am. Before we begin, I want to give a special thank you to Javi Coffee for sending me over their perfectly brewed coffee samples. Javi takes coffee making to a simpler level while still maintaining that traditional taste that everyone loves. Javi is a coffee concentrate, so if this is the first time you've ever heard of this, it's essentially liquid in a bottle. Even if you aren't a big coffee drinker, Javi is a great place to start. There's multiple different flavors to choose from. My favorite has been the original so far, but I want to try the red velvet next. And it kind of gives you gourmet at home, so I definitely recommend. It's really good for the price, and you guys can use my coupon code down below just to try. I don't want to ramble too much, so let's just get straight into the video. I found this on Twitter, and I watched the video together react to it so let's your deadbeat because i tell them i was being irresponsible yet yeah, not wearing protection but i always tell uh, these women that i got pregnant that i do not want to be a father to these children and i offer to pay for the abortion majority of times they'll either take the abortion or they'll take a plan b but only these seven have kept these children but the crazy thing about it is they want me to be responsible for some children I told them I did not want. So for some years now, some of them been trying to get in contact with me, access denied. Because I, I don't really know why you're trying to get in contact with me. I didn't told you I did not want them kids. So don't expect me to be responsible financially, emotional, spiritually, mentally, or physically. With some I already know we're going to have to go on pieces because child... He said a lot. He said a lot in a little bit of time, and I really, I really don't know who is fucking these niggas. That's always my first question. First things first, that do not sit right with me with the introduction to this video is the tone of voice. I feel like regardless of how the kids got here, what the situation is with the mother, they're here, okay? So be mindful on how you speak and what you want to say pertaining to the situation that they did not create. And because they're going to see it, they're going to see it. And you know, granted, whether you hate the mama or not, or you hate their daddy or not, like they're going to have to see this one day and you speaking down on their parent like that. And I don't think it's a good starter pack for a healthy, cohesive relationship with either parent with a child, you know? So off rip, he didn't really turn me off with how he's speaking about it. Two, seven kids, seven different women. I don't care if it was three one night stands, four marriages, whatever it was, it's just absurd to me. Like be real. Keep them as close proximity as you can so you'll be able to raise them properly. When you have seven different children by seven different women, you're not going to see these children like that. And this opens up the Nick Cannon case of worm. It only shows immaturity, no discipline, just frivolous things. <laughs> check in check out it's not really giving you in seven different happy homes because seven different women had your kids and you none of them were deemed marriage appropriate like be real as a man you don't get to say kids that i did not want because if you didn't want kids you will have a vasectomy you will be celibate or abstinent or you would wear a fucking condom like it's really no excuse for men men are the reason why the baby even got here in the first place okay if you pulled out just 2.2 milliseconds earlier we wouldn't be here but no self-control no discipline no none of these things that creates a decent man got you in a fucked up situation so here we are <laughs> when it comes to having children with a man you need to be 110% sure that he respects you, he loves you, he values you. You can definitely raise a good kid out of wedlock, out of a fucking one night stand. The kid could be amazing, honestly and truly. But like, to be hanging up with a man every day, every night, and he has not even shown you that he values you or respects you, but that condom is off. I'm already side eye in the whole situation because first comes love, then comes marriage, then comes the baby, okay? You could at least... <laughs> You don't tell me love never came, marriage is, was never on the table, and the baby came. That shit irritates me. As a woman, I just feel like you have to be a little bit more tactical, firm on what you believe in and what you want from life and how you're going to carry yourself. To say, oh, I don't want marriage, but you're sitting here having raw sex with the doggiest nigga you can find, be real with me. Be real with me. And I'm supposed to feel sorry for you when the baby comes. Like, I... Don't piss me off. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I can get into a long debate about figuring out a guy's character before doing these type of things with him. But like, honestly and truly, you're never really going to know. You're never really going to know. People like to have different versions of themselves to show you, to capture you. <laughs> Eventually, he going to slip up and you're going to see. The way that he said spiritually, mentally, and physically don't want shit to do with the kids, you're that mad. You're that mad. To me, that put off from having a child but nutting raw is crazy to me. Like I said, they're gonna see this one day. To say you spiritually, mentally, and physically don't want shit to do with them, don't expect, ugh, they could they could watch you fucking burn in alive and don't, if they don't wanna spit on you, they really don't have to. Like, everything that you say will come back to you. And I don't give a fuck what nobody think about it. You not gonna force children up on me. Yeah, we both made the decision to lay down and have intercourse. We both was irresponsible about the decisions we made that night. Yeah, I could have pulled out, but I didn't. And I ain't care to pull out because I'm not the one that gonna have to carry a baby for nine months. It's the one. My intention is to not bash men or women in this video, particularly. I feel like, like he said, they equally did irresponsible acts, but I find it very disgusting for a man to look at a woman, know all that comes with pregnancy, all that comes with raising a child, all that comes with everything involving his crazy eyes and have no sympathy because he's not the one carrying it. That's a fucking menace to society. Where is the heartlessness coming from? That's why I feel like a lot of these men that have these things to say or carry themselves with this demeanor, y'all are very hurt little boys inside. Y'all are very hurt little boys that need to go figure out what they need to heal. Because all you're doing is taking out your anger out on women. No matter how much you're caring to these men, no matter how much you try to show up and show that you're different, I promise you, a lot of the times, they're not going to change. They have a problem deeply inside. It comes off very much like, are you gay? Do you need a therapist? Um, do you love yourself? Who didn't love you? Like, it's something is going on over there. Something is really going on. Never have a child if you are not comfortable with the fact that you're going to be raising a child with somebody or without somebody. Like, you need to be 110% comfortable with that idea. Like, you know, things change. People change. So, like... Am I gonna be okay with a baby in my care, my care only? If the answer is yes, then I say continue in your love journey and have your baby and live your life, you know? But a lot of the time, girls are having children that they don't really want. So when they become single moms, if they become single moms, it's very hard. It's, it takes a toll on your mental. Not saying that like single moms can't have a bad day, that you hate your kids if you have a bad day, but inevitably you can really tell a lackadaisical mom. You can tell a mom who this was not her dream. Some women grow up and like can't wait to be a mom, can't wait to be a mom, you know? And I know like things are not planned a certain way. And a lot of people that have kids, be honest, did you plan it? <laughs> did you plan it? Like be real. Like it is what it is at the end of the day. But like always remember that it's your, it's our bodies. We're the ones putting ourselves in harm way to give birth. We could possibly die on that table. And to go through all of this, such a beautiful journey. You went through all of this and he still don't give a fuck about you or it. It's just like... Ooh, if you want a one-way ticket to the G building, to the mental asylum, okay. <laughs> In my opinion, women should be more careful on who they sleep with. Because you're going to be like, one of my baby mamas trying to find me so I can financially support a kid I didn't told her or them I did not want. Another thing is, these just jump offs. These are the type of women that I ain't even had to do nothing for. The bad minimum, but they gave me access to their body and they think I want to be a, a father to a child for one of them? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I always want men to realize whenever you're downplaying a woman or how stupid she is or how you finesse out her coochie or how you got this from her and she's dead, she's a jump off. Whatever you're saying about that woman is a direct reflection of you because I promise you no man that knows his worth or knows what the fuck he got going on is fucking lucrative in life. He's the fucking prize is ever going to date somebody or get, fuck a date get pregnant and pregnant somebody that you think is a jump off be real like even the goofiest things of them all don't have that shit going on like you feel low about yourself you play in low vibrations because you are a low vibration like 
And mind you, and a lot of the times when men talk about women and how shit they are, whatever cases, I promise you, you meet that lady, that lady is a fucking beautiful person to be around. It be them. It be them. You can't view her like that because you can't get past how you view yourself. Like, you're a jump off. You're a slut. You're a pass around. You're somebody that anybody could just dump in. Like, the hell you got seeds walking out here that really don't mean nothing to you because you don't mean nothing to you, you know? And a lot of the times I feel like women meet these guys and get entangled up with them and allow their self-confidence to diminish because they're with a guy like this. When a lot of the times, never feel shit about yourself when it comes to getting pregnant by whoever. After a certain amount of time, get peace with the fact that you fucked up, but he could never fuck you again. He could never fuck up your life again. He could never take part in how beautifully you're gonna raise your child. You really have to fill the guy out, figure out, you know, if everything that you want is in him before you give him all of you. And just based on how he speaks so nastily about like women partaking in sex when I promise you, I, I, he doesn't even have to say it out of his mouth. I really feel like he begged for all the coochie that he received from these women. Yes, okay. <laughs> the fact that he has no respect for like how he's speaking about them, he doesn't respect himself. Like, when men feel like you, they didn't have to try. They didn't have to go on the chase and you're just there, 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 available, available, available. A lot of the times they're going to treat you like what? McDonald's, swing past when they feel like it, you know? It's not even that you're a hoe. It's not even that you're a hoe or you're not a good person or a good woman or nothing like that. It's more like a self-esteem thing. If if they feel low about themselves, if he feels like he uses sex to feel good about himself, he getting different women in other cases, the same way he's using it to feel good about himself, he's using it to view you in a bad way. That doesn't mean you're a hoe or anything like that, but like in his world, you'll definitely be that. So when you ever come across a nigga like this, I swear to God, Keep your sanity where it needs to be, please. Because a nigga will have you so fucked up to the point where you think it's you, it's you, it's you. You're the problem. You're a slut. You wasn't worth it. He wasn't worth the ring. He don't love you and the baby. That nigga don't love himself. He don't love himself. And he wants who oh so bad. He can't see the good in nothing because he doesn't see good in himself. Wait, I don't even have no type of love for these women. How do they expect me to love these children? Before y'all say, oh, he irresponsible, he a deadbeat. As a young girl, I, I didn't have a healthy relationship with my father at all. Like, we're very much hot and cold, cuss each other out, disappear, come back talking. But, like, vast majority of my life, I've never had, like, a real father figure in my life that was worthwhile. It's always been very important for me to, like, you know, I never want to put myself in a situation to be hurt or vulnerable over and over and over again because I've been hurt before about a first person that's supposed to love me, you know? So I was very, growing up in my teenagers, I was very cautious about like who I wanted to sleep with, who I wanted to fucking entangle with. Because I, spare me, spare me. Like teenage boys plus a father that just fucks up my life. <laughs> I don't need both, you know? I used to always say like, you know, like, I don't see myself having kids with a guy that I'm not married to. It's more about love. I want to feel love so so deep and so blissful you take it upon yourself to say vows in front of god in front of your family in front of me in front of the government you didn't prove yourself to everybody that you need to prove it to so i can feel comfortable enough to give you a child that i know for a fact that you're gonna love just as much as you love me more than me child i need you to love that baby you're gonna value my child because you value me and long story short, you people can get divorced, that's fine. Things don't always work out. And I'm not I'm not anti-divorce. I also don't feel like saying a situation that's not serving you, even if you're married. But for starters, if we're gonna bring kids into the world, let's at least attempt. Attempt. I'm not saying be perfect, but definitely attempt. So yeah, let's continue. He don't take accountability. Yeah, I do. I just don't give a fuck. You ain't gonna force these children on me when I told you I ain't want them. Yeah, I can offer to a pay for abortion, but at what point? Can I force a woman to go get an abortion? I cannot. A woman say, my body, my choice, but I you. That's the end of the video when it comes to abortion or adoption and stuff like this. Some men are so disgusting and so low that like they don't understand that these are not scapegoats for children that you did not want to have. These are opportunities. If you know for a fact the life that you're going to give this child is going to be so low into shit 
that like it can't work keeping the child giving it up for adoption or having an abortion are all very traumatic experiences to go through so none of them are to play with and they're not, just, they're not as easy to just do as men just say like it's really disgusting the only thing that was that easy was for you to hold that fucking nut and pull the fuck out or put on the condom that was the easiest part about all of this stuff you know and it's very frustrating when men try to like weaponize my body my choice as if like we're being petty about it like a lot of girls you don't know what these women medical history is you don't even know her favorite color for real so you don't know what she's been through you don't know how what she's comfortable with you don't know her religious beliefs there's a lot of things that go into these things and i feel like it's very insensitive to just mark it off as just like oh it's her body so she want to keep the baby like no it's her body she don't want to go through another abortion if she's been through that one of ab abortions are fucking painful she doesn't want to enter that too Three, she could be a fucking holy girl who feels like, you know what? I already did the first half of my sins. I'm going to see it through and reverse this shit and be a good mother. You know, like you never know what people are going through. And it's very nasty to just, oh, I gave her money for the abortion. Like, ladies, please stop getting pregnant by these bums. Just bums, low vibrational bum ass niggas. Like, it's just so far gone with a lot of things because I feel like, um, I'm 22 now, so like a lot of people in my age group that I went to high school with or went to college with have children or are having children. And I really want all of us to be smart and level headed in the choices that we make and the men that we lay down with. It really start there. Like, do you do what you want to do at all times and just make sure the quality of the man is worth your time. And I don't care if you're lonely or if you're going through something, you just need some, somebody. You never need just anybody. I promise you, whenever you feel like you just need anybody, just start to pray. Don't do anything blind eyed, like you don't know what's going on. Never come off too naive. Like we're at an age where we need to start sitting down and thinking about our deal breakers, what we're cool with, what we're not, a lot of different boundaries when we meet men. What's, and, and mind you, I feel like a lot of time girls forget that, like, I don't care how many people you slept with, I don't care if you slept with the doggiest thing. If you wake up tomorrow and be like, you know what, I'm not on that shit no more, or I'm not accepting this anymore, a different type of dude, or you want a different kind of era in your life, you could do that. We really gotta leave niggas where the fuck we found them at, for real, you know? Um, and as far as dealing with men with multiple baby mothers, red flag. Like, personally, I'm too young. First of all, this one would involve me. I'm not, I'm not even single, okay? <laughs> but <laughs> if I was, child, I, to entertain a nigga with a kid, I don't give a damn if he's my age or if he's years older than me. You're crazy. My kid has to be your first kid. My first, your first. I don't know what's going on. And if it doesn't work like that, girl, you fucking nigga with one and three about this, you're crazy. Like, you're long on. Like, <laughs> one is like okay this is different this is very different for me but i'm a cover zone two is like he really has to be something that you really can't pass up on <laughs> three baby mothers i'm good i can't even to, to know three women in my face that you didn't have sex with is already a lot for me this is a lot a lot a lot a lot i i'm good i'm good okay Thank you guys. If you're new here, like I said, subscribe to my channel. I would love for you guys to return. I'll be back sooner than later with a life update and, of course, more consistent videos. And yeah, you guys, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys so much. You can follow me on my Instagram or my TikTok because that's where I be at when I be MIA. So all updates are always over there. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video.